part of it is, again, I'm kind of afraid that I'm going to watch them and go, oh, it doesn't hold up. Animation legend Bruce Timm is back spearheading the latest DC animated universe film, Batman and Harley Quinn. It's a pleasure to have you talking with us here nice, today. Nice to be here. Batman the Animated Series, you know, it's, can't believe it's been 25 years. Yeah, since me I, neither. Your, your thoughts and knowing, one, if people still, like me, still ask you about it constantly because that's how much that show resonated and the impact and the influence. A lot of people would argue that's had as much of an influence on this generation of Batman fans uh, as the TV show had on the next wave of fans. Mm -hmm. I think back on it now and it's kind of like, you know, we were really in the right place at the right time. In the early 90s, um, there's, there wasn't nearly the amount of, you know, outlets for, uh, for science fiction and, and, you know, fantasy and, and comic book type um, shows. So, uh, the, in fact, I think when we premiered, I don't think there was another cart, there wasn't a, a straight superhero show on the air at the time. Um, and, and yeah, and the fact that it was on at, you know, in the afternoon, so people would like, you know, I, I, people tell me that all the time. They'd go, oh yeah, I'd rush home from school and, and you know, make sure that I, I watch that show every day. And then not just like, you know, kids in school, but like college kids, you know? So that was all cool. Well, me. Well, there you go. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's fascinating that it has kind of that same kind of iconic status that the, the uh, for a certain generation that the, you know, the Adam West show had for, frankly, for my generation. So, so it's cool. Can you name us the, give us three essential episodes from the Batman the Animated Series that if somebody comes up to you and says, I've never seen it, give me three episodes to watch. Mm, boy, that's tough. Um, I always have a deep, deep fondness with our very first episode that we did, which was the Man Bat episode. Um, it may not be like the best story or the best animation or whatever, but it kind of had everything I wanted to do with a Batman show right there. It was kind of like our pilot. Uh, it had a lot of mystery, it had a lot of like, you know, almost horror movie type elements to it. Um, it was played straight, but still with some humor. Uh, it had a villain that I don't think had ever really been done in animation before. That was like really kind of important for me was to go, you know, back into the deep bench of, of Batman villains. So it wasn't just the Joker and the Riddler and Catwoman. Um, so that, that's one. Um, I really like the Mr. Freeze episode still, the one that Paul and I did, uh, Heart of Ice. I think that's a really solid episode. The third, boy. It's tough, there's so many. Ugh. And I don't wanna just pick another one of the ones that I did, but I, I kinda do. There was a, I think one of our best Joker episodes was one called The Laughing Fish that Paul wrote and that I, that I directed. That's, that's, that's one that I have fond memories of. The weird thing is too, is I haven't really watched a lot of the episodes in a long time. Cause I, it's, I, just, I just, for one sure. reason or another, I just don't go back and watch them. But um, I'm, I'm part of it is again, I'm kind of afraid that I'm gonna watch them and go, oh, it doesn't hold up. So, so we'll see. Bruce, thank you so much for the time. You bet, man. Thanks. It was a lot of fun.